So here we are, we're in Marcy's studio with Diane Erickson. We've been playing together all weekend. And one of Diane's many signatures is she always likes to have a little handwork. And she's a master of up, upscaling, up fashioning, um, recycled garments. So this weekend, she was actually, when she arrived, she was wearing this great shirt. Tell us a little bit about it, Diane. How did it come about? You know, the recycling thing is like my, one of my passions. I just, so much happens in the process that really feeds the other things that I like to do. And this particular one, um, can't go around, wrong with a striped linen shirt. Um, very masculine, you know, big in, in a lot of places. Let me just kind of walk you through a couple things that I did because when you get a shirt, sometimes it's hard to know what to do. First thing I do, take the pocket off. Pocket was up here, not a good place for most of us, have that pocket up here. So I like to save the pocket for balancing the piece. So I don't put it back on right away, but I take the pocket off, take the buttons off, and then I put it on and I kind of go, what do I want? You know, I'll be pinching and kind of playing. The collar usually comes down, and what I've done with the collar is I just, you know, it's like keep it simple. You know how this is. The more sewing we know how to do, we want to do all the cool tricks we know how to do, and then it turns into a big giant sewing project, and we pack it away for next year, maybe we'll wear it. Okay, folded the collar in half, did a bunch of stitching with black thread. Well, turn that back around so we can see the back again. Yeah. And I've incorporated this thing with the circles is it actually a quilting fabric. There's some fabulous stuff right now. And I like the gray with this with the quilting fabric and a little hit of the orange on the front. So you can see I started by just literally folding the collar down and then stitching that. Sometimes I pleat it so the pleat sticks out, but that gives me this little stand up collar. I didn't take it off, just made it quick and easy. And then I decided I really wanted a piece of this, a bigger piece of this down the front. So the shirt is so big. I always start with the biggest shirt I can get. So it gives me way more fabric and options. So I take the front and I literally pleat it over and bam, elastic loops. How cool is Let that? You have like, don't, don't figure this out. Don't, don't do fabric. Do elastic loops when it works because then it'll fit with any size button. Keep it simple. I mean, that could be our motto, right? Keep it simple. Um, so in the pleating it over, you can see nice opportunity for more of that stitching. And the stitching where you've got a back stitch and a forward stitch at the same time, which makes it heavier. I like that little orange hit. A um, little bit of pleating on the, on the sleeve piece. And when I wear these, I, I mean, I wore this yesterday, but I'm putting it back on the dress form to kind of give it a little tweak again, because I like to do that before I wear it again. Um, so you mean you'll actually this. you'll wear it and then oh, kind yeah. of think about it and then go back in and do something else? Oh, yeah. I have been known to wear a needle and thread on the piece so I can do a little stitching while I'm wearing it. You know? Actually, what, one of the times I visited you this summer, you, you looked at what I was wearing and we took it off and put it, tuck it the neck, it was much better. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So the other thing I've done on this one is I took a, um, a dart which ends up being like a dart into the shoulder area here. Some of this is fairly subtle and you can't really see it. But I also learned a new thing on this shirt, which was I could literally take it in at the back of the sleeve all the way down. And that's pretty cool. So now this fits totally different than it did uh, before I made that pleat. So I'm just having a really good time with this one. You can see repeating the stitching. It needed something, and here's this little bias cut raw edge piece that I put here and repeated here. Uh, it, it, it's a kind of all about the balance for me, and the hem can always change and, and be different. So I, I really love having this slit, and you can see when I got to the end, then I had a location where the pocket would be the perfect balance. This is, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. And I, I just can't not uh, do it. So now I'm on to the next thing. You know, I'm, I'm wearing my tablecloth shirt and after this, now I'm on to the next one. Because one kind of, you know, becomes the next one. Um, so, so that's a great, so this is a great start. And remember, keep, what happens for me is when I wear it, then I'm going, you know, it's a little, I just did a little extra pleat there, or maybe took a little bit out. This is the other place that I adjust right here on us. We're used to wearing the big shirts. 
But you know what? The older we get and the more meat we have, this right here is not a particularly attractive line to have more fabric down here. So I shape this. I come up and out to give this the smallest curve that I can get and still give enough room for the arm. So I'm always taking out the sleeve, but I do it under here as well as on the top sometimes. So, so that's what's happening with this one. They all happen in a slightly different way, but um, I'm real happy with this one now, and I think I'm just going to wear it.